Hi, welcome to part 3 of the video tutorial series on how to customize and automate the wonderful white cap visualizer by Sound Spectrum. What we've seen is how to save a combination of uh, color scheme, wave shape, and background with the user preset script over here. But the user preset script is very limited. We can control other settings with it, all of these. We also cannot define categories in which the color schemes will cycle, i.e. we can only define one color scheme, one wave shape. And so what I want is to progress and to show you how to create a different kind of script. Now, the other script is created instead of using the set button here with the numbers we just press shift w as in right script shift w and then any character we choose uh, it could be a number from 1 to 0 i mean 9 then 0 or any ascii character otherwise so for example let's say i like the combination um Let's see what we want to use here. Something very obvious, so that it can be obvious when we're reaching it. Let's say in the scorched uh, wave scheme, a color scheme, and the wave shape would be um, bobsled. So we have this color scheme now, and this wave shape, and this background, which happens to be none, I think. And we want to save it in the new kind of script. So we press Shift W and then select a character, say T. And then it says here key T.py has been saved to that directory that you remember from before. Users app data roaming spe sound spectrum white cap script. Here we have key T. If we open it using our Python editor we see that it looks exactly the same format as the user preset scripts which is indeed correct the default format is identical however we can alter it and then we can add more to it for more specifically let's erase all of this and put in a different kind of format it starts with at underscore time and then the time when we want the script to take place for example we can have several script actions going on throughout the script and being implemented at different times as we specify them currently we'll use just this simple the simplest of script that uh, is implemented as we execute the script ie in time 000, zero, zero. so what we want is instead of these lines, we will take the color scheme here, copy it, and put it here in the new format of color scheme implementation. Same goes for the wave shape and for the background. You know what? Let's make the background none so that it won't get in the way. That's how you define none with in parentheses. And we can erase the old format. Okay, so now we save that. And we have a new script T. Now, it will not be valid until I restart Whitecap because, as I said before, Whitecap loads everything on startup. So I'll close, I'll reopen, and then I'll check to see if indeed I have this new script. So let's choose a different color scheme altogether. Something obviously different. I have blues for Miriam. I have a different wave shape, but if I now read the script, i.e. shift R and then T, I get what I had before, which is the bobsleigh with the scorched um, color scheme. So that's shift right, shift w and the letter, and shift read and the letter. Now that is just the basics, meaning that 
I got now the same kind of script as before in terms of functionality. However, now we can start to extend it. Say, for example, that we want to have another script with the wave shape, um, let's take, for example, flame, which I think would work nicely with this example that I want to make out. And this is flame. So the zoom is too is too close. So we want to first of all zoom out a little. Uh, I think it's under wave shape. Yeah, let's take the zoom from 1.5 to 0 0.8. And we would like also for it to look more like a flame. So the line width scale we want to take it up. Actually, using the user interface, we can only take it up to 2. But let's say I want to even go higher. So, what I can do is make another script out of this script. Let's save it. Let's go to the directory in scripts. I'll delete that. I have only T here. And I'll make a copy and rename it R. Now I have a script that will respond to the letter R and I will modify it. I will modify it first of all the wave shape I will turn to flame. Second, I will add a couple of more commands. However, before I add these commands, I just like to recheck to make sure I'll Shut down white cap, restart it, and then see that my book two scripts are working. If I press Shift R and T, I get this first script with the um, scorched color scheme and the bobsleigh wave shape. And if I press Shift R R, I get the flame with the zoom that's too much for me and the line width, line thickness which is too fine for me. So now I go back to key R which I started editing and I use a different format of command which is set pref. Okay, viz dot set pref. Now you remember in the directory here we had the preferences file. Now, the nice thing is that almost all of these preferences can be set by this format of script. For example, using the setPref method. For example, I was now considering the zoom. So I have a wave shape dot zoom field, which is defined as 1.5 by default. That's what I defined first because it worked well for me for the first script. But now I want to define it as 0 0.8. So I go viz.setpref, wave shape zoom, and then value. Same goes. I'll copy that and make another line here. I have to make sure to keep my indentations in line. Otherwise it won't work because it's Python. And I'll go and set pref again, but this time for the wavelength, wave shape, line width scale. I'll copy that. I'll put that here. And I want the line width scale, which if you recall here, I could only take it up to 2, right? Let's try to take it up to 8. Okay, I'll close it so that I can reload. I'll save that. And let's run white cap again. I'll go shift R and T for the first script that we know well by now and shift R and R and here I have the zoom set as I wanted. However, the line thickness didn't work for me. I think let's see the zoom is 0.8 like I wanted. The line width scale didn't work. What mistake did I make? Let's see. 
Yes, and I can see here that I have copied by mistake from the preferences file the space here. So this is Python. There is no room for error. I have to delete that space and let's try that again. I'll reopen Whitecap, Shift R and T for the first script that I know, and Shift R and R for the second one. And here I have the line width that I wanted and the zoom that I wanted. That's how I can play with most of the parameters in the preferences file. I can choose not only to switch the wave shape and the background and color scheme as in the user preset scripts, but also the zoom, the line width scale, and most of the other parameters, except for a few global parameters such as audio input source, which I'll show later how you can play with that as well. Now, the next mission would be not just to play between two shift R and R, not just between one combination of parameters and the other, but also to be able to cycle, to create a script that cycles through a wave shape collection that I choose or a color scheme collection that I choose, but that will be in the next tutorial. Thank you.